Jeff, thank you. We're one day closer to the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. Several Olympic trials are now underway, including swimming. We wanted to hear what it's like to swim at the Olympic trials from someone who has done it and done it well. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan caught up with Roland Park native Catherine Fox. She told him that trials actually carry to her more pressure than the Olympics themselves. It's been 25 years since Catherine Fox's homecoming at KCI. Before she could show off that gold, she had to get past the Olympic trials. You walk in there and the, the, the air is thick, you know. Thicker than the humidity in Barbados. There's so much tension. Where Fox currently lives, over Zoom, she explained there's so much pressure to make the Olympic team, you almost relax after the trials. They just say, and now you're on the team, you've accomplished it. Like, you've yeah. done it. You're going to the Olympics, right? And so now you just go and enjoy the dance. Swimmers looking to enjoy that dance are competing in the trials this month in Omaha. In the 20 years since Fox was last on this stage, she says swim trials have evolved. They've got indoor flamethrowers and you know, taiko drums. Swimmers do live interviews. You get in that pool. Crowds are generally packed, COVID being the exception. And now trials are one month before the Olympic Games instead of five months like in 1996. Well, how many how many months are we out to the Olympic Yeah, Games? like six weeks, a month and a half months. Wow, I just got goosebumps. Goosebumps. These athletes will have to overcome in the water. You want to enter an Olympic trials feeling 100% on top of your game and 100% secure in who you are and just feeling like it's another day. In 25 years, one thing remains the same. Swimmers have to bring their best. Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today. Now, Catherine's been having a series of conversations, or Charlie has been having a series of conversations with Catherine Fox. He'll bring you more of her insights and more of her post-Olympic stories as we get closer to the games. Look forward to that.